welcome Year 10s and families of Year 10s uh, to this presentation, which is specifically uh, related to selecting subjects for Year 10 students for next year in Year 11 in, in 2021. Um, simplistically, the student's job is to make sure that they are in six subjects and fill their six lines next year in, in subjects, vet courses, general or applied, that are engaging and are appropriate to them. There are um, three different types of subjects on offer uh, in a wide and, and very diverse curriculum uh, that we offer at Kenmore general syllabus subjects, applied, which are not as academically rigorous, and also our certificate courses or our vocational subjects. During the subject selection process, students choose six subjects for two years. Um, all students must study either one English subject, and that's a Queensland legislation, and also one math subject in year 11 and 12. Uh, and uh, at Kenmore State High School, we make sure that students are placed and nominated into their appropriate level of English and also their appropriate level of maths. We don't want to see students set up for failure or distressed and in a subject that's not at their level um, and working at their, um, we want to see them working at a level where they can all be successful. So should a student be placed in a maths or subject uh, or math subject, English or math subject where they think they may want to um, promote to a higher tier of English or maths, then by all means, should they meet an academic benchmark at their very next report, then the faculties would be happy and very pleased to have the student um, uh, move into a different English or a math subject. Subject changes in 2021 are in two subject change windows. In the very first three weeks, uh, in January and early February of 2021. Students have just met their teacher and are starting to look at the subject outline and starting to get a real introduction to the subject that they thought about in year 10. Um, should that not be for them and they really think that there is a much better um, option, then with parental permission and a signature, then they may approach for a subject change. And if we can accommodate that, we'll do everything we can um, to make sure that that happens. Then we close down uh, the subject changes and allow students and teachers to have some continu continuity for a number of weeks. And in, in week seven of the first term, uh, the subject window is open again and then for a, a number of weeks through the Easter holidays and four weeks into the next term, the subject window change, uh, stays open and students may uh, approach uh, the um, administration for a subject change. With regard to maths, there are four tiers of maths. We offer three general uh, new syllabuses in maths and one applied, uh, that is essential maths. And once again, students will be placed at the end of year 10 um, into those subjects, and that's for discussion at the set plan or senior education and training plan interview with parents and a uh, representative of the school um, for discussion. Um, should the students um, uh, want to promote themselves into a higher tier or, or a level of maths, then it's vital that they've demonstrated an academic history of success. Uh, very similarly in English, there are a number of different English subjects. There are three general subjects and also one applied. Once again, the English faculty, led by the head of department, will be placing students into where they have shown they can be successful and uh, uh, students uh, must enrol in an English course and again um, they must be successful in English to receive an ATAR so it's absolutely vital that they are successful in year 11 and 12 in English um, otherwise if they're ATAR eligible it could end up at the end of year 12 that they are um, they lose their eligibility for ATAR by not being satisfactory in an, Eng in an English subject. Um, please remember all students and families that uh, many universities have their own schedules and uh, their own offerings with regard to subject prerequisites. Uh, things are very different from uh, five years ago or even two years ago where individual universities are now publishing um, schedules where there is quite a number of assumed knowledge uh, for entry into courses and not as many prerequisites. So it's important that you get very specific if you've got um, interest in particular courses um, to investigate the prerequisites on university entry. Um, year 10 students will be introduced to the QTAC information and all of that tertiary information on their Thursday period one career education classes. So what's next? Uh, what's coming up is 
uh, we asked our Year 10 students to give us an expression of interest um, completed uh, very soon at the point of this recording, and that allows us to make the best line structure uh, to make the most amount of students happy with the um, subject choices. We want as few clashes as possible and as many um, Year 11 students next year uh, doing the subjects that they want to do. So we will put together the line structure based on, on what families and students are indicating that they're interested in. And we'll publish that in week six and then the students will do their final, their second and their final subject selection um, in time for our set plan interviews where we want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with students and families in week nine. Well, thank you very much for listening for our subject uh, to our subject selection presentation. And can I encourage you, please, to uh, to um, look at the vocational um, presentation and also the one on ARA to get a full picture of our processes and systems.